WNDS Sports and Flat State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the first show of 1995 here on Candlepin Skins at the Londonderry Bowling Center. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. Last week, a lot of excitement uh, in the final boxes. That match kind of snuck up on us a little bit. Bob Mazur cruising along with the win overall pinfall, but the other three guys put on a great battle for second. Well, that's right. We didn't lose uh, sight of it's still bowling, and uh, that meant a lot to Rich Lottie. He just didn't give up, came back with that big game, and he's back because of it today. That's right. So Bob Mazur and Rich Lottie return. For Rich Lottie, it's his third week in a row. For Bob Mazur, who won this most recent roll-off, it's his second straight appearance, and they'll be joined today by Brian McKinley of Hudson, New Hampshire, and Steve Daniel, also of Hudson, New Hampshire. And a reminder, here are our rules here on Candlepin Skins. We want you to be familiar with the format. The bowlers compete, all four of them, one box at a time. The high box wins the skin. The skins carry over if there are any ties at all. Remember, if two bowlers tie with the high score, that's considered all tie and the carryover continues to the next box. The top two in total pinfall return the following week, as we mentioned, and here is the prize money breakdown. First three boxes in each game worth $10. Next three boxes in each game worth $15. The following three are worth $25 each, and the 10th box in each game is worth $50. Last week, Dan, uh, Bob Caleri was the big money winner with skins, but he is not back here because he was not able, just by a few pins, to qualify for this week's show, but yet he left with a lot of cash. Yes, and Bob Mazur is back, and he played very close attention to those rules. So he's, <laughs> he's got it down now. He'll win a few skins today. All right, we're going to see what happens. We'll get it started with our four bowlers here on Candlepin Skins after this break. Don't go away. All right, here we go. Candlepin Skins and Rich Lottie ready to lead off the show. And Rich would love to start off like he finished last week. <laughs> he certainly doesn't want to start like he started last week. That's for sure. <laughs> Here's Steve Daniel making his first appearance with us here on the Winds. And let me make a quick correction. Steve Daniel from Salem, New Hampshire, not Hudson. Close. Well, but he, he moved into break. Yeah, kind of in the same general <laughs> neighborhood. Rich Lottie with the spare. Nice shot. And Steve Daniel gets out with the nine. Talked to his wife before the show and I asked, is he nervous? He says, yes. Uh, first time he's been trying for many years to get on television. You usually see the spare by Rich Lottie. It usually takes a couple boxes and they all settle down. Oh, Brian McKinley with the big strike. And oh. Brian turns around no. and gives the glare of death <laughs> to his fellow competitors. <laughs> and he wins the $10 opening skin. Brian McKinley doing a little trash staring. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I've heard of trash talking. That's the first time I saw trash staring. <laughs> And he won't even reset the machine. Just look at it, fellas. There's no pins. <laughs> <laughs> A 10 box for Bob Mazur. The $10 skin for Brian McKinley on this strike. Hello, tripping that four pin. Once again, Steve Daniel making his first oh, appearance. And there it is. is. Strike. Boy, that was solid. Rich Lottie. Oh, no. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Let's see Steve strike his first on television. And it was a quick one. Rich, of course, was strike on spare there. Bob Mazur. Ryan McKinley looking for the double. Doesn't happen. With the 
matching strikes, of course. That automatically means we have a carryover. Nice bid for Brian on the spare possibility. Fills his strike with nine. Bob Mazur takes a nine. And Brian will carry the ten box. So a carryover with the strikes, and box number three will now be worth $20. Rich Lottie last week had an 89 in the opening game and then came roaring back with a 145, including a double strike to finish second and return today. And he's that close to a double strike. Steve Daniel now also working on a strike. Off target to the left. 20 more for Rich Lottie. Spare in the third. At this rate, he'll have 89 after five boxes. <laughs> And Steve gets nine on his strike. And the 10. So, spares Trump so far. Brian and Bob left trying to make it a double carry over. And Brian will have a shot at the 6-8, a 6-9, I should say. And there's another spare lead for Bob Mazur. Chance for carry over here. Oh, Brian McKinley misses. And Bob Mazur misses. So it's a $20 skin for Rich Lottie. Two spare opportunities by the boards. Instead, two 10 boxes. So Rich Lottie with the overall pinfall lead here. And he takes that $20 skin in the third. Oh, big ball strike, Steve Daniel again. Likes that lane number 30. And oh, oh, the Rich same Lottie. thing happens. <laughs> Twice in a row they've done it, back to back. Let's take a look at Rich's strike this time. Oh. And he's gone spare strike, spare strike. Remember, I, I, I'm sure he loves me to keep bringing this 89 game up he had <laughs> last week, but he's got 70 through four boxes already, and he's still got a bonus, two bonus balls coming. Bob Mazur hasn't thrown a strike in two weeks yet. Oh, Brian McKinley let that one slip away to the left. He says, well, it's already a carryover. I right. try right. too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ooh. Bob Mazur picks the two right off the five. So in the first four boxes, we've had two carryovers with strikes. Nine box for Brian McKinley. And we move to the fifth, which is now a $30 carryover. Don't anyone panic at home. Bob Mazur did not get a strike. <laughs> this keyboard is... Give Bob a 10. Doug says he hasn't got a strike in two weeks, so what does Dan do? He <laughs> pushes the <a> strike key. <laughs> and Steve, his bid for a double strike, leaves the five and eight. Can Rich Lottie keep his 20 in a row? Oh, no. Should have. There's the 79 in the fourth. Spare on strike for Steve Daniel. And there's 89 pins in the half for that, Rich Lottie. Isn't that what I said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good game, Rich. You're all done. <laughs> Steve Daniel running second to Rich Lottie right now. Ryan McKinley back in the pocket and can't touch the eight pin. Oh, Bob Mazur gets that strike you were talking about. Put it down now. His first strike in two weeks. And the skin. His first skin in two weeks as well. <laughs> Bob did something no one else had done here before on Candlepin Skins last week. He went through an entire show without winning a skin, and he was the total pinfall winner at the same time. There was his strike. We will go to a break. Bob Mazur wins that $30 skin in the fifth. We're coming right back.
Well, lots of excitement here already. Lots of strikes already. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six strikes already in this match. And these two fellows uh, have match strikes the last two times that they're up there. Everybody has thrown at least one, and Steve Daniel almost has another one. That's a nine fill on a spare. Rich Lottie on his. Uh, I take it back. He was not working on a mark there. Another mark for Steve Daniel. That's three in a row for him. And that'll be an eight box for Rich Lottie. Steve Daniel is breathing right down his neck for the overall pinfall lead here early in the match. With uh, Brian and Bob not that far behind, both working on marks. Bob will fill that strike. And Brian will fill the spare. Great smooth delivery that time for Brian, but not much of a mix there. Only six. Bob Mazur for the spare. Oh, he should have had it. How did he miss that? On the seven pin, nothing <laughs> touched it. A nine fill on Bob's strike. Ryan's looking this five, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. Yes. He gets the spare. His second in a row. Bob Mazur will take a nine. That last oh. ball dipped into the channel, but look at the miss on the spare. Rich Lottie. Three, four, and six left. No wood to help Rich. And Steve Daniel off target that time, just four on the spare. Ooh, almost for Rich. Pretty good bid. Ten for Rich Lottie. Eight for Steve Daniel. They are eight pins apart after seven boxes. By the way, that was a carryover, that last box. We neglected to mention it, but the two spares by Steve Daniel and Brian McKinley. So this seventh box worth $40. Brian McKinley working on a spare with seven. Bob's looking at the two, seven, and ten. Brian first. Can't convert. Now Bob shot. No. Just slipped by. Ten for Brian McKinley, and it's going to be a carryover with that ten box. And an eight for Bob Mazur. So another carryover, meaning that the eighth box moves up to $65 now. And that was the first box of the match. Nobody marked. Steve Daniel. One, two, and five left for Steve. Rich Lottie. And he'll shoot at the 6-10. Piece of wood in between the 6 and a 10. Steve missing to the right. And Brian right, uh, rather Rich, right on it for a spare. Yeah, it'll be a nine for Steve Daniel. So the spare is up for Rich Lottie, trying to win this $65 skin in the eighth. Steve Daniel is the only bowler not to win a skin yet. Oh, look at that leaf. The 7-8, but with the wood. I think Bob had visions of a strike when that ball hit the 1-3 pocket. Spare. 
for Bob Mazur. That will carry the skin over again. Ryan McKinley trying to solve this for a spare. Let's see if he can fly it over. Uh, no, not quite. It's a nine box for Brian, an even 100 through eight. Very, very tight match going right now, especially with that spare up for Bob Mazur. And another carry over the ninth box worth $90 now. Rich Lottie will fill a spare and he'll bowl first on lane 30. Ooh. Ooh, a little too much break that time. Broke heavy on the head pin, just punches out three. Steve Daniel back on the head pin for a spare leaf. 2-5 left for Steve. Boy, Rich has got to scramble now just to have a decent box. So both Rich and Steve are open here in the ninth. Ooh, and Rich takes a five box, hit the object pin, but got nothing else. Steve Daniel will take a nine, so that will tighten things up a little bit more. Rich Slotty still in the lead, though. And a nine leads for the skin. A big skin it is. <laughs> Brian McKinley, lane 30. Brian is already at 100 through eight. A uh, great first oh. ball, but leaves the five and the 10. Bob Mazur now, lane 29. Oh, that's right. Bob Mazur wins another skin with a strike. Well, he talked last week about how he's not a strike bowler, but He's figured out that that's how to win the skins, and he's done it twice here now in this match. $90 skin for Bob Mazur. Brian McKinley takes a 10. Here's a look at Bob's strike. It's gonna be a quick one. Bang. 10th box now. After that $90 skin, the strike for Bob Mazur. He's got what, $120 already in skins after being shut out a week ago. Tenth box worth $50. Rich Lottie. Who oh, there the strike. Is. Boy, when Rich has it going, it looks like every ball he's going to throw is going to be a strike. <laughs> That's his third of the game. Steve Dan, a little bit behind himself with that delivery. And again... Eight box for Steve Daniel, 125. Of course, Rich Lottie has to stay up there to fill that strike. And he, of course, is the leader for this $50 skin in the 10th. It was a little lighter hit once the seven pin to go, it does. Well, you said he might want to continue as he started, la or continue as he finished up last week. That's exactly. exactly what he did, a 145, the same score he had a week ago in the second game. Of course, the strike is all that matters for the skin, but a 145 for Rich Lottie with seven marks, including four in a row to start the game. Bob Mazur on a strike. The body English tells me he <laughs> wanted to carry over. <laughs> <laughs> Brian McKinley can't carry it over, so that's a $50 skin in the 10th for Rich Lottie. Bob Mazur can't convert the spare. And neither can Brian. Nine for Bob, 112. 10 for Brian, 120. Well, once again, very similar to last week, we have one bowler jumping out to the quick lead. Looks like it could be a great battle, either for second or perhaps one of these guys can make a run. Who knows? We'll see in game two on Candlepin Skins after these words. Rich Lottie, game two, coming off his 145, his second in a row. That's how he finished up last week as well. Rich also took $70 in skins in that first game. The overall skins leader right now is Bob Mazur. What do you know? $120. 
six one, six skins. Once you listen to those rules. That's right. Okay. Rich Lottie has won three skins for $70, and the other skin in that first game went to Brian McKinley for $10. Steve Daniel not on the board yet. But Steve is in second place, at least for the moment. Great uh, battle right now. I might have given an incorrect score for Bob Mazur. He was at 122. But again, as we tell you every week, the running cumulative scores for the two games are at the bottom of the screen. You see Rich Lottie has already changed to 155. That adds in, of course, the 10 that he just bowled. So you'll be able to uh, keep track of the running totals here. Total yeah. pinfall in game two. I'm sure Rich is thinking about what he did last week, and he's not going to rest on that at 145. What he's probably thinking is, throw anything, just don't throw another 89. <laughs> Steve Daniel looking for the 10 and he gets it. Now Brian McKinley. Brian, Hudson, New Hampshire. Lives there with his wife Debbie. Brian is an assistant store manager for Purity Supermarkets in Nashua. And does a lot of his bowling at the Lita Lanes in Nashua. The final roll-off for this series of bowlers here on Candlepin Skills, Skins was held right here at the Londonderry Bowling Center. So another chance for us to thank Charlie Reed and Terry Kelly and Tim Lipke and the whole gang here at Londonderry for not only hosting that roll-off, but for hosting us uh, all year long here as we tape Candlepin Skins in Londonderry, New Hampshire. Another 10 box. And that will leave the stage for Bob Mazur and this $10 skin. Well, he just to throw some kind of mark, that's all. Well, he's going to have to corral the four horsemen. The one, three, six, and ten. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. And Bob Mazur continues to rack up the dollars here. And that also, of course, helps him in total pinfall. Rich Lottie, right in the pocket again. Boy, just the four pin. All four bowlers now separated by 23 pins. Uh, I said 25 pins from top to bottom. Ooh, Rich sliding by on the right. And again for the nine box. Steve Daniel now. Steve making his very first appearance on television. And doing quite nicely for himself from Salem, New Hampshire. Steve works for the U.S. Postal Service, does a lot of his bowling right here at Londonderry, so that's going to help make him feel comfortable for today's appearance. As of the day we're taping today's show, Steve and his wife Deborah celebrating their 19th wedding anniversary. They have a 17-year-old daughter, Crystal. Steve's high single, a 191, and his high triple, a 458. He takes an eight box there in the second. Brian McKinley for his second frame. He is low man on the totem pole right now. But not by much. No. 3, 6, 10 on the right. 7 pin in the left hand corner. No wood to play for Brian. Trying to split the 3 and the 6. Now he's going inside. Oh, and missed it. Nine box. So Bob Mazur again is on that great spot, needing only a ten box to steal the second skin of the second game. Working on a spare. You see the damage he's done already, making up for last week. Ooh, this will be a tougher shot, and just a five fill on the spare. More importantly, really, because he's trying to catch up right now. Let's see. Everything but the seven. Well, Good effort. This will do it. 
the 10 box. For the skin, yes sir. $20 more on the 10, uh, $10 more rather, on the 10 box for Bob Mazur. Third box now, worth $10. Rich Lottie. If he's in the pocket, it usually looks pretty good. Yeah, he gets those pins moving pretty well. 2-4 left for him. The spare, yes. First mark of this second game for Rich Lottie. He's trying to keep his streak alive here. This is his third straight week on the show. Trying to come back again for number four next week. The longest stretch we've had here in Skins is five consecutive appearances. That's somewhat surprising, Dan, even though we haven't been on that many weeks, but I'm surprised that we haven't had one person just really reel right. off a, a big number. Well, you might see it in Rich Lottie because I'm sure he's thinking, well, with an 89 last week, I probably shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> big spare for Steve Daniel. Steve is the only guy that's been shut out in Skins money so far, and he makes a fine shot right there. His first mark of the second game. That breaks a six-box drought for him. Yeah, he's put a couple strikes up, too, only to have Rich Lottie follow it with another strike to have the skin. So he ran a little rough, rough luck with that skin so far. Brian McKinley right through the middle, one, five, and nine. If you remember, too, last week when Rich Lottie began his comeback, he had a spare up, and then he had an eight drop, and a pin fell, blocking a possible spare chance, which he then missed. And it looked like that might be costly, but he came right back with another strike and then came back with a double strike later. A six for Brian McKinley. Well, Bob Mazur, if he can throw a strike, he'll win the skin. Otherwise, we've got a carryover. Watch out. Oh, Not quite enough. So the spares will carry it over to the fourth box, which will be worth $25 now. Spare for Bob Mazur. And look at the scores. 29 pins from top to bottom. Rich Lottie, 174. Brian McKinley, 145. Rich. Big shot. Yeah, you see what we mean when he's in the pocket. He has that little reverse spin going, and boy, he just buried that one. Eight pin. Kicks out last. Strike on spare. Well, Steve had it done to him earlier in the match. Let's see if Steve can do it to Rich by throwing a strike and half the skin. Oh, that close. <laughs> Nine on the spare for Steve. He'll go right at the 10 pin for his next spare. Two in a row. Continues to hang in there in second spot. Brian is the one right now that needs some marks. Had a 120 opening game, but you can see he's no marks this game so far. He's actually gone seven boxes in a row now without a mark. Pretty good looking first ball there, but look at the 7 10. Now he wants to wood the hang around, and it won't. Let's see if this wood down at the bottom can be pinched uh, with the seven pin. Be a, kind of a close call, I think. Right, I think, I don't know if you can get enough of it to give it enough momentum to go across for the 10. No. Brian will be open again, and the skin will still be there for Rich Lottie's taking, unless that'll be an eight box, and unless Bob Mazur can match the strike, Rich Lottie will take Couple of more skins on the carryover worth $25. Bob working on a spare also. He'll take seven. Rich Lottie gets the skin. And Bob will shoot at three, five, and six triangle. Just to the right of center. For the spare, yes. Two in a row for Bob Mazur.
Box five worth $15 and Rich Lottie working on a strike. A little full that time. Not by much, but does leave himself a dif difficult spare leave. The 3 6 10 in the four pin. Wants to get at least three. Oh, just an eight fill. And the nine. 66 half. For Rich Lottie. And 2-11 already, the halfway point of the second game. Oh my. Kind of a mess of a leave there for Steve Daniels. Six on his spare, and he leaves the three, seven, nine, and ten. And no wood now. <laughs> and how do you play this one, Dan? Well, I'd play the three pin <laughs> on the right hand side, hopefully, and then some help. Well, Steve's bowling well, but still shut out with skin so far, and just like Bob Mazer last week. Although Bob was kind of leading the match the entire way. It's open for you, Brian. Chance to break the ice. Now the question is, Bob Mazer's making some money. The question is, will he be able to qualify for next week? He's uh, working on a spare, and next time he comes up, first Brian McKinley, who's really in need of a mark here. Pretty good first ball. He'll shoot at the 3-6. Still got eight pins and blew everything out into the pit. And gets the spare and knocks those into the pit. <laughs> Gives himself a hand <laughs> and leads for the skin. He's, he got to skin the very first frame, Brian McKinley, and he's been shut out since. Oh, Bob Mazur buried that one in the pocket. I think Bob thought he had a strike. That's a nine fill on his spare. He's making a run at the top spot now as well. He's got to watch this wood. He's going to drive right straight through it. Yep. Nicely done. Three spares in a row for Bob Mazur. That halves the skin. We will have a carryover when we come back for the final five boxes to decide this thing on Candlepin Skins. A look at Rich Lottie. Here's what he's done so far. He's also in the lead in total pinfall. Yes, he's at 211. Bob Mazur, 193, but he's got a ball working. And then comes uh, Steve at 186, and then Brian at 163, and Brian has a ball working. So it's a long ways from deciding who's coming back next week. Tomorrow at noon, Guy Pichette and Bill Coffold on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Guy Pichette going for a second straight win. Seven box for Rich Lottie. Steve Daniel now. Has yet to win a skin. Oh my. Whew. Ooh, five six, no wood. Ball was buried in the pocket. No luck there for Steve Daniel. We've been mentioning, of course, last week that Bob Mazur got shut out with skins money. We should uh, remind you that the bowlers do get a fifty dollar bonus for appearing. So even if Bob had been eliminated last week, he wouldn't have gone home empty-handed. Big ball for Brian McKinley, working on a spare. Trails second place by 33 pins, so he's got to put some numbers up right now. No, same, same leave. Same two pins, the three and the six. Not this time. No, he played it that same way the last time and went a little too far left this time. For the 10 box, tends to have the skin right now unless Bob Mazur can mark. 
He's got three in a row. Working on another spare. And we'll have a little something to shoot at here, an eight fill. The half Worcester pins on the right side, the three and the nine. But this time he's got a piece of wood in between. Oh, oh no, he missed. So it'll be a carryover again. But Bob wanted that just to secure that second spot a little better than he has. He's well, at 211. Check those numbers now at the bottom. Rich and Bob just seven pins apart, and then Steve right now running third at 196. This is a carryover skin now worth $55 in the seventh. Still have some money to decide here down the stretch. Oh, half Worcester left for Rich Lottie. Just missed the head pin. Almost got it on the way back. The one, nine, and 10 remaining. The nine box. Three opens in a row for Rich, so he's uh, letting everybody else back in here. That's right. We'll struggle right now. Steve Daniel has been open, his, his last two. Right through the middle. He leaves the two, three, and four. Sounds like it should be an easy <laughs> shot. <laughs> He's going to have to go after the 2-4, I would think. That's what he's trying to do. And it's an 8. So another opportunity for Brian McKinley here to make up some ground. He puts a mark up here. He's right back in this battle for second. depending on what Bob Mazur does. But Brian is off target. For the spare. Inside and uh -oh. everything but the seven. Brian thought he had it, as you could tell from his reaction. And I think everybody here in the Londonary Bowling Center thought he had it. But this, to take the lead for the skin, you never know. Yep, there's the 10. That's the score posted, so Bob Mazur will have to come up with a 10 to tie it or a mark to beat it. There Oof. it is. That's a six pin or four pin right around the seven pin. Never touched it. Bob Mazur now. He's full. Oh, he's got to go after the three pin. You can go inside here and clip that wood. I think the ball might be able to catch that wood for the 4-7. Oh, he's... He tried it the other way and almost snapped it out. Bob, 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 you're making me look bad, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he would have made you look terrible if he had made it. <laughs> it's a 10 to have the skin, another carryover. And here's that effort. Watch where the wood comes now. See, that, that was impossible. <laughs> I could have had the spear. <laughs> That's Bob Mazur. It's a carryover now worth $80 here in the eighth. And Rich Lottie off, still off target to the right, which is, if he's been off, that's where he's been, to the right of the object pins. That was in there, and he gets robbed. Reverse leave of what Brian just had, same result. Leaves the pin in the corner. All these pins important now, going down the stretch. All of a sudden, a marked lead. drought here. And this is the, this is a four box carryover right now. Oh. Break it out. Cut. We had a four box carryover in the first game worth $90. Bob Mazur took that one with a strike. Steve Daniel will be open here in the eighth. He's been all over the head pin the last several boxes, but no marks to show for it. And it'll be a seven. Can't do anything 
Brian McKinley has had an opportunity here these last few boxes to make up some ground. He has not been able to take advantage. He'll shoot at the triangle. Three, five, and six, and no. Oh, boy, oh boy. Just not in the cards. This, they have the skin so far, though. And he'll do that. A yep, couple of tens up there, so it'll be up to Bob Mazur to mark again. Third box in a row that this has happened. Again, it's an $80 skin here in the eighth. Good first ball, and oh, there's the yeah. extra pin. <laughs> Kicked out the ten. Those three other guys were hoping it would stay up, I'm sure. <laughs> For the skin? Yes. Spare in the eighth. Big spare, too, as it solidifies Bob's hold on second place. Moves him closer to the lead, too. And it also wins him an $80 skin. So Bob is more than making up for last week. He's now at $220 in skins. He's won 12 skins already. Rich Lottie. And threatening to take over the lead. Yep. Rich Lottie, 4-7. Needs a mark to keep Bob Mazer at a distance. And he gets it. It appears, though, unless Steve or Brian can really mount a big attack here, that Rich and Bob may carry over again for the second straight week. Carry over that, not with skins, but in total pinfall. Oh, right. Steve Daniel bidding for his first skin of the day. Oh, he's had a few of these taken away from him by a strike. That's Steve's third strike of the day. First in this game. Brian McKinley. Brian hasn't had much fun here today since that strike in the first box. Yeah, since that trash look. Yeah. <laughs> he has been downhill. Great shot. What a great shot for the spare. Triangle, the wood behind the 10 pin helped him. But last chance, Steve Daniels skin, unless Bob Mazur can throw a strike. He does not, although he comes close with the eight fill, and Steve Daniel has himself a $25 skin, his first. And another spare for Bob Mazur. That's six spares in this second game for Bob. And he takes over the lead by a mere two pins. But Steve Daniel would probably have to throw a double strike when he gets up there, depending on what Rich Lottie does on this spare. You know, Bob leading Rich by two pins, but they're both working on spares here. The 10th box worth $50. Our last skin of the day. For the spare for Rich Lottie. 120 plus a ball. That's 11 marks in 20 boxes for Rich Lottie today. And a seven fill, 127, and a two game total of 272. That'll be good enough to come back next week. As Rich, I would say, is on a certified roll here right now. Steve Daniel on his strike. He needed another one. Nine, Phil. That should just about do it. I believe that does do it for Rich and Bob Mazur. It's just a matter of who gets this last skin. Well, the best Brian McKinley can do if he strikes out is 131. That would give him 251. So he could still do it. Oh, no, he probably can't. But, you know, that's right, because that would beat Steve, but it would not beat Bob, certainly. But Brian could win himself $50 if he can put a strike up here. Nope. Gonna be up to somebody to have that spare of Rich Lottie. Hey. 
Ooh, slip right by the head pin. Steve Daniel finished, by the way, at a 2.39. Brian McKinley finishes at 2.28. And so it will be Rich Lottie and Bob Mazur advancing again as a, as a team. <laughs> it's a matter of who wins the skin now, and you know, Bob Mays has got a chance to have the skin. And if we have this final skin, all bowlers will bowl again, and then if we're tie, only the two bowlers, or two or more bowlers that tie can carry on. There it is. Another spare for Bob Mazer, and he's going to be over 150 probably. He's got to fill that spare, and then we will take a break and decide our last skin of the day. 144 plus a ball for Bob Mazur. And the strike! Oh, just a little too late. He's joking about it now, because it doesn't help him for the skin. That's why he's got the big smile on his face. But he has a 154 and a two game total of 276. And that strike beat Rich Lottie for the overall pinfall lead, but both of them will come back next week. We will come back to decide our last $50 skin after these messages. All right, okay, we have a $50 skin to decide. With the pinfall issue already settled, all four bowlers are in this first extra box. Rich Lottie, who looked like he might oh, have the strike ball working. Easy. It's nine. Easy. Steve Daniel with a good first ball. Oh, and a bad break. Well, it looks like Rich, well, we won't say anything yet. And I'm glad I did it. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's Brian. Push the button, baby. <laughs> Steve is seven, so he'll be out of it. Oh, I beg your pardon. That was his second ball. A ten box for Rich and an eight for Steve, so he will be out of it. Because only the bowlers who tie would continue if this is a tie box. So now Brian and Bob with uh, the stage open here. No marks up yet. Brian, I know, would love to win this. He's won only $10 so far, and he thought he had the strike, but instead it's the 5-7 with no wood. Bob Mazur, he'll have a spare lead. 10 is the high box right now. Still cut that 5 into the 7. No. Nope. So Bob Mazur wins it with the spare. Well, Bob came roaring back from a week ago. And he wins the final skin, $270 in skins winnings for Bob Mazur. We will take a break, come back, and wrap you up on all the scores and money information in a minute. All right, back we are from the Londonderry Bowling Center, and let's quickly show you the pinfall results again, and we can tell you that Bob Mazur and Rich Lottie will once again advance to next week's show as they finish one and two, just four pins apart. It was decided on Bob Mazur's strike there on the fill in the 10th. Steve Daniel and Brian McKinley come up a little bit short, but Steve Daniel performing very well, his first time on television. And here's the skins money order, and look at that. It's exactly the same. Bob Mazur makes up for last week, Dan, with $270. Everybody else at least got into the column. Brian McKinley with just that very first skin in the first box of the match. But uh, a good comeback uh, money-wise for Bob Mazur. And, of course, now he and Rich come back again next week. Yeah, it's only fitting. He bowled well two weeks in a row, and it averages out. All right. We will be back tomorrow at noon. Candlepin Stars and Strikes at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. It'll be Guy Pichette going for his second straight win. He'll face Bill Coffold. And, of course, next Saturday we'll be right here at Candlepin Skins at the Londonderry Bowling Center once again. Until then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a good weekend, everybody.